So this morning we are grading all of the entries for the primary engineer competition. Today is the first day of grading and we'll be going over all of the entries, giving them a pass, uh, merit or distinction. And then tomorrow it will be all about identifying winners in each grade. So this year is our 10 year anniversary and we've seen the competition grow over the 10 years to being a UK wide annual competition. So we see certain themes each year around the environment, around waste and waste management, around energy. Ultimately what we see is just incredible designs from pupils on how engineering can make the world a better place. I think this initiative is incredibly important for our collective future. We, we need to get young people involved in engineering and innovation really at an early age. And I think this competition has shown what talent there is out there and what the opportunities are for involving young people in engineering. I think there's some huge benefits for, the, for this scheme, for the island. Um, first of all, it's planting those seeds of ambition from a really young age. We've got children as young as three being involved in this competition through nursery, right the way up to uh, sixth form and year 13 in our schools. It's good to widen their uh, thinking and to help them shout out their ideas and help them feel that they are heard by others. In my university we were like for example 10 girls out of 80 so which, which was a bit challenging but uh, whenever you start that from younger age you can tell everyone that this word is not only for boys this word is for everyone you can be an engineer even if you're a girl. I think it breaks down barriers to what children think engineers look like, the kinds of problems that they can solve. Engineers can really be anybody. We all have a creative mind, just have to turn the cogs a little bit in the right direction. <laughs>